Hi, today I wanted to show you Trini London's new BFF serum for under the eye and see how well it works and um, show you what it looks like. So just before we start, it's a tinted serum. You can build it up to as high a coverage as you like. Hyaluronic acid delivers an immediate hydration, peptides and vitamin C to help brighten the under eye area. Sounds like something we all need. I also wanted to get a little bit more friendly with the Miracle Blur because a lot of people have had some questions about that. How much to use, how does it work, or having problems using it. So I'll show you how I use it to make it work for me. First thing I'm gonna do is go in with her BFF cream. Now this was the first cream that Trini came out with. This is essentially skincare in a tube but it also has in it sunscreen and it is supposed to sort of even out your complexion and all Trini's products are designed to be put on with your hands. They're super quick and convenient. See how that just gives a really nice glow to my skin. It's the BFF cream. And the color I got was lightest because my skin's quite fair. So the next product that we're gonna go in is the BFF serum. This is sort of like a, well it is a BFF serum. It's a very light coverage. Again, it's got skincare in it and it helps protect your face against the free radicals from using your computer all day, looking at your phone. And I'm just gonna put on half my face so you can see the difference that it makes if you like something a bit heavier you can build it up you can definitely see how it just evens out my skin there it's really light it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything at all on your skin and it just soaks in so easily that you just feel like you want to keep putting more on obviously you don't need to put both of those serums on you could put one or the other you can see the glow now that my skin has to it and everything has just really settled in there's nothing at all sitting in any fine lines or wrinkles it's just nothing how good's that so now we're going to move on to the bff eye serum and you can see the applicator here is actually that way deliberately because it gives you a nice cool feel to under the eye while you're applying it so that will also help with any puffiness it definitely feels nice and cooling using that applicator so then you just get your ring finger or whatever finger you like to work your concealer in with you could, be, you could use a brush or a sponge if you wanted to, but like I said, these products are made with using your hands in mind. Just gonna show you that side. You can see how it just soaks in and just brightens up that under eye area. You can apply as much of this as you want. If you want a heavier application, you can certainly do that. I'm just going to come in a little bit closer so you can see. It's gone in so well. You can't see where the cream has started and ended. And that's what you want in a concealer when you're putting it under your eyes. Now, I just feel because it's a concealer, there's a couple of other areas that I would normally use concealer for. So I want to try that. So I'm just going to get some on my finger and I'm just going to put a little bit between my eyebrows because I sort of feel like that's a place. And then probably down my nose as well. Just, I've got a few sort of red marks on my nose. So I just pop a little bit there. Keep the cap on it as soon as you finished using it because the slightest bit of pressure is obviously going to push it out of the tube. So I would also recommend like when you store it, store it up right so it doesn't 
come out, especially when it's so full. Trini does actually have concealers in her traditional pots. And I've got the concealer in the color Bambi. So I'm just going to take some of that with my finger and I'm just going to pop that at the bottom of my, of my nose. What I'm doing is I'm achieving coverage where I want to achieve it without having it where I don't want to achieve it. So I can still have that really no makeup makeup look while still feeling I've got the confidence of having the coverage and the cover where I want to have it. Okay, so that's about all I want to do in terms of concealer at the moment. Now, the other product that I've had a few questions about is the Miracle Blur. So this really is a Miracle Blur. It's a, it's a miracle. The only thing is you do not need a lot. So I'm going to show you. I'm literally just putting on the smallest amount. I feel like I have texture between my eyebrows. So what I'm gonna do is just stamp this in. It just blurs that whole area. Now the other thing it does is it calms down the glow. So if you felt, for example, your forehead was too shiny, what you could do is you just go in with your Miracle Blur, again, just a tiny, tiny bit and just work it in and it'll just see how it's just calmed that glow down a little bit and to get uh smile lines down here so again when i say a little bit just all you need to do is stick your finger in and pull it up and you'll have enough on there to do the area that you need to do anything more than that not only is it wasting it's just it won't look as good because it's not made to use heaps of my skin um, is looking really good, but I feel like my chin is a bit shiny, so I'm going to pop a bit of that here as well Just to tone down the shine on my chin uh, So anywhere else you felt that you wanted to put it if you get large pores on the side of your nose or anywhere like that You can put it wherever you want it. I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows and then I'll come right back So you can see once you've got your eyebrows on your face can really start to take shape what I wanted to show you, in case any of you prefer the more full coverage look and still think this is a bit not enough, is you can, as I've said, build it up. And Bambi, which I use for the concealer, can also be used, I guess, for a foundation, essentially. So I'm just going to show you, I guess, maybe the size of my nose here how I can make it a more fuller coverage if I needed it or if you suffered from rosacea or you had acne to cover up or something like that. You can see the difference now in the coverage. So just so you know, if you get days where you like fuller coverage and other days where you like less coverage, this is sort of the perfect product. What I'm going to do, just since I've got my sponge out, just to even up my eye area, is just with what's on my sponge now, just go in there and make that all one colour so that we can go and we can put some of her shadows on too. There's one more thing I want to show you that is new and that is her new contour color called Serena so this is I guess uh, let's say it's an alternative to this one which was Kate that's Kate versus the newest addition to the Trini family you can see the color difference here a very sort of cool versus the very warm color what you do is you start at the very tip of your ear and you just bring it down with your finger I don't mind a cool contour sort of bronzing color, but a lot of people prefer something a little bit more with terracotta -y pinky through it. I guess it's either or. Again, you could build it up if you wanted to. So I'm just starting at the very top of my ear and coming in this way here. I'm just gonna match that side. I'm just going to go and do a little bit where I would normally put some around my forehead, the top of my forehead here. It just melts into the skin. There's just no real work required. 
I'm just checking my mirror because it's hard to see when you're checking into your phone. I'm just going to pull some down my temple there. I'm going to pop some along my jawline. And when I'm using this, I'm only going in, I'm just popping my finger in there and I'm just taking off like that much at a time. So hardly any. I'm just checking in my mirror to make sure that everything's where it should be. Just put a tiny bit down the side of my nose. It's just a small amount there. Let's move along to blush. So there's so many different types of blush. Trini's got the tea tones like this. Uh, we've got this color here, which is called Maddie. I think we used that one before. Um, this one here called Electra, and that's the one we're going to use today because, like I said, we used um, Maddie before in the last video. We can use one of these two on our lips. So, again, just a little bit, whatever you can get on your finger, and then you just want to tap it on just like you would any other cream blush. I showed you this in the last video, but this is a brush that pulls apart and you've got three different heads on it. On my lips, let's go in with VB and Honor, these two here. This is called Starlight. This is Trini's highlighter. So again, super pretty. These two tones here are Victory and Empress. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into half the tone of the lightest one. I'm just put a wash of colour onto. I don't need the brush at the moment. Um, a wash of colour onto my eyes. Now I'm going to grab some of this brown that I have here. So I'm going to go along just along the lash line here and just line my eyes with it. Yeah, Beautiful colour called Juno and I'm just going to place it all over the lid. I'm going to go into this silver color called moon and I'm going to use my brush for that and I'm just going to on the edges use that just to buff out that green it's a little bit more creamier but it also just makes it look a bit more sort of gentle and then I'm going to get my finger because the moon this shade here is creamier and just let my finger sort of buff out the edge bits so you just sort of have a smoky smokiness going on. You don't have that harsh line where that green starts and stops. I'm gonna keep the eyes like this and I'm gonna get go back into that starlight highlighter and just on the inner corner, I'm just gonna pop some there. And I'm gonna pop some there as well. I'm gonna use the uh, Maybelline. Sky High. That's a really good mascara. That is everything. For those of you who asked about setting with a face powder, I'll show you how how it works, how it looks. I'm just going to grab my trusted Laura Mercier here. Some people's makeup just comes off. So for those of you who need to, I'll show you what it looks like if you need to set. The glow still comes through the powder. So you can see that using a setting powder, it doesn't cause any issues. My skin still looks really, really nice. Everything's really, really blended in well. And I've still got the sheen from all the products. So if you want to set your face, go for it. So that's all. Thanks so much for watching and I will be back again.
Bye.